Here we are back at the same little room with all the same issues, the cracks and everything. But what you'll notice, there's a ton of metal plates. Remember when Elvis, uh, or Evil Knievel Elvis, Evil Knievel jumped over the fountain at Caesars and went over the head of his handlebars. Yeah, he had some fractures and needed some plates and rods put in, so there's a bunch of the plates. And here are the rods to go up five, five and a half inches up into each beam and pull it together so it will not separate. So for instance, see that one right there? Well, these bolts are going that far up in there and holding that whole beam together. That one shot across because this is the structural beam all the way across. So I have shot a, sunk a rut screw, five and a half inch screw half inch width into all of these areas. And then on the back side, to pull these and hold these cracks together from getting any larger. So, same thing here all the way up inside there so that it can reach up past that crack and hold that all together. Same with this one. A lot of wood chip chips and sawdust. <laughs> all over the place, but uh, we'll call this the Evil Knievel room because putting it back together is going to be a minor miracle. So now I have to put putty coat up inside all these cracks, which is an epoxy I'm waiting on. And then I'm going to take drywall mud compound mixed with some concrete glue and I am going to go over and resurface all of this wood and then once I have a flat surface I'm going to use paint and uh, different colors of paint and uh, create faux wood beams I have my work cut out for me. But if it comes off like I think it will, this will be a minor miracle. But this woodwork, these wood beams are just beautiful. They just need a lot of TLC. And I'm the man to do it. <laughs> 